Hey guys, this is Shainu. Today I'll be talking about MGT8803, Business Fundamentals for Analytics. So this is a Georgia Tech course that you have to take if you're going through the OMSA program. If this is your first time seeing my video, then make sure you check the description and, and watch the ISY86501 and CSC 6040 video. In these videos, I'm going to be talking about the grading structure, the syllabus, the examination preparation and things like that. That could really help you get an A in your class. Let's talk about 8803. My first recommendation is that you take this course in summer. And the reason why you want to take this in summer is because if you're to take this in fall or spring, you will have a fifth module. By the end of marketing, you're going to be so tired of watching videos that you just want to be done with this course. So again, I highly recommend you to take this class in summer by itself. That's just my recommendation. Now let's talk about the modules that you have to learn for this course. Accounting, finance, supply chain management, and marketing. For accounting, you have two weeks. Finance, supply chain, and marketing, you will have three weeks. At the end of your second week, you will have to take an examination. And usually they give you four days to take the exam. So they open it on Thursday and close it on Monday. If you're like me, a full-time employee, then obviously it really doesn't matter if it opens on Thursday, you can only take it in, in you know, Saturday or Sunday. So I felt like that time was kind of tight. And as soon as you're done with one module, you have to move on to the next one without having a mental break. After you finish one week of videos, you will have a self-assessment that you have to take. The self-assessment really just kind of tests your knowledge. And it is somewhat similar to what you can expect in the examination. For accounting, you will have two essays. For finance, you will have three, and you get the point. These self-assessments are ungraded, so they don't care if you do it or you don't do it, but I recommend you to do it so you will get a better idea of what to expect in the examination. And when you're taking these essays, make sure you're not looking at your notes, so that way you can really be sure that you understood the topic that you just covered. Now let's talk about the grading structure for each of these modules. For accounting is 25%, finance is 25%, supply chain management is 20%, and marketing is 20%. And you're wondering, where's the 10%? So the 10% is the homework. When you sign up for this class, you have to pay an additional 40 some dollar for a Harvard student pack or, or course pack, or I can't remember, yeah, it was a course pack. And in the course pack, you will have two simulation, one for supply chain management and one for marketing. And these simulations make up the 10%. So in the Harvard course pack, you will also have two additional article that you have to read for supply chain management. And if you don't have the time to read it, at least join the office hours to understand what those articles were about because some of the questions were in the examination was from those articles. All right, so now you have an idea of the grading structure and the time that you have per module. On average, each week, you will have about one hour and 30 minutes of content to watch. So it's, it's pretty lengthy, and if you don't have the business background, then you kind of have to really sit down, dissect what the professor is saying, and write down all those notes, and that takes a long time. This course took me about, I wanna say, 15 to 20 hours per week of work. And my studying is kind of different, so it, you know it, it could be different for you. Now let's talk about how to prepare for examination. So to prepare for examination, what I would recommend is before you take the exam, or two days before you take the exam, Friday night, go through the videos at two times speed. Just kind of go through with all the videos. And <laughs> some people might not have the time for it, and that's okay. But sometimes they ask you tricky questions that is from the words of the, you know, what the professor said rather than from the PowerPoint itself. So I recommend you to go through those videos at a two times speed just before, you know, you take the exam. Not just before, but like a day before you take the exam. And then review the PowerPoint the night before the exam and the morning of the exam. Make sure you attend office hours. So you have office hours Wednesday from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. or at least that's the time that I had when I took it in summer. Sometimes they go over and so it's probably better if you just stay there because if you don't stay there and if you're thinking about watching it at a later time, you're going to be like, well, 
this is two and a half hours of video i don't want to go through with it and and sometimes they go over time not sometimes most of the time they go over time so i had a uh, office hour that was from 7 p.m to 9 30 p.m uh, so it's probably better for you to just attend it live and ask any questions that you have and also make sure before you take the exam you go through the office hour slides too it kind of give you a summarization of everything that you know you learned that week and that's kind of it honestly this was not super difficult there are no prerequisite steps before taking this course um, if you remember for 6040 you need to know a little bit of Python but for this class you don't really need to know anything you just need to go in there um, and just be a sponge and absorb everything and hope for the best that that's the only advice I can give you hopefully you found this video helpful if you have make sure you like it and subscribe to this YouTube channel and I will see you guys in another video in the end of next semester bye